Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. So today I want to talk about yet another body spray that I picked up when I was in Canada. This brand is actually not available as far as I know in the Netherlands, unfortunately. So when I was in Canada, I was able to test their fragrances and some of their body mists. This one here that I picked up was definitely a love at first sniff for me, um, but mostly because it's pretty much a dead-on dupe of one of my favorite scents of all time. It is my Holy Grail Mango Perfume, and it's from the house of Fleur. It's called Mango Mood. So here we have this very big bottle of uh, Mango Mood 240 mils. Uh, they did actually have a smaller version of this. I think it's 90 mils if, if I'm not mistaken, but they don't sell that smaller version in store. At least that's what the SA told me. Uh, you can only find that one online. So I decided to pick this one up here. It's a hair and body fragrance mist and I was so so surprised with how close it is to mango skin and this one here is from Wilhelm Parfumery uh, the best mango perfume in my opinion out there <laughs> uh, when I first tried this I knew immediately that I had to have it in my life um, I have talked about this perfume on my channel several times uh, but I did review it. I can link it down in the description box if you guys want to hear my thoughts on this one. But Mango Skin uh, Wilhelm Parfumery is a stunning, stunning mango scent. It's very, very, very realistic. This is a very strong scent. It performs beautifully and I just love everything about this scent. So when I tried this one mango mood by fleur um, it automatically immediately reminded me of mango skin and so there's some notes listed here in the back it's olfactive family shepra and fruity the notes in the top are black currant pink pepper and mango heart notes are wild orris black lotus jasmine sambac absolute Base notes are patchouli, vanilla elixir, and brown sugar. Uh, but on Fragrantica here, um, by the way, it was released last year in 2023. Perfumer Jerome Epinet, who is a nose for many of the Atelier Cologne scents. And actually, I just talked about this video, uh, this scent recently. Um, he's also the perfumer of Carioca Crush which is my favorite from the summer collection of Sol de Janeiro. So online on Fragrantica, the notes are similar, I think. Um, mm -hmm, patchouli. Yeah, pretty similar. In any case, you guys, um, it is very, very, very similar to mango skin. So if you like mango skin, and you wanted a more affordable version of it, uh, then you can definitely give this one a try, a test at the Sephora. And so, of course, it's just a fragrance mist. It does not last as long as this beast over here, but of course you can reapply it as many times as you like. Uh, perfect for the summer. It doesn't really come off cloying or too heavy. It's just a lighter, version of mango skin so it's so so delicious <laughs> so what i'm picturing here with mango mood i'm picturing very very ripe sweet mangoes so if you're peeling a mango you would get all of the juices out of the mango that very sweet, delicious, juicy taste of mango. <sighs> the mango fruit itself, but I'm also smelling the mango skin surrounding it. I'm picturing mango pudding as well, 
which is a dessert that I can only find when I'm home in Canada, in Winnipeg. Um, they have this dessert uh, at this dim sum place where you can get mango pudding and then they put some um, condensed milk on top of it or evaporated milk. And it just adds a nice milky, creamier texture to the mango pudding. It reminds me of taking the mango slices that are very, very ripe and sweet and then just blending them into a blender, into a nice liquidy kind of mushy mango and drinking that. <laughs> it is just such a deliciously sweet mango scent. So this is definitely a must have, if especially if you're looking for uh, a great mango scent that smells like this, but a lot more affordable. But do keep in mind it doesn't last as long, of course. Uh, I think I paid 46 or 48 dollars for this mango mood and it was definitely worth it. I actually would have liked to purchase a second one, but I did have to keep in mind um, the amount of perfume I can bring home in my luggage. So because I did pick up some other uh, Bath & Body Works scents and I also brought many perfumes home from my collection in Canada. I brought them back to the Netherlands as well. So there was another scent from this house that I am very, very curious about, but they didn't have a tester. I think it's also a newer release from the house, Fleur, and it was called Dragon Fruit. Almost blind, bite it, blind bought it on the website, but I didn't. Um, if you guys have tried Dragon Fruit, uh, their fragrance mist. I would love to hear about that down in the comments, uh, whether it's worth it. Maybe I'll try to get it somehow um, uh, in Sephora in Canada. Uh, but yeah, this was definitely a love at first sniff for me. And yeah, I hope you guys are able to try this out. Um, the price of this is very high i think it's actually been in, in, increased sorry and so i'm very happy to have a an alternative for the summer uh, a lighter version of mango skin i think it's actually my favorite dupe of mango skin uh, there is one that i tested from emir mango punch i believe it's called uh, which smelled like mango skin on paper but on skin it didn't really it wasn't as close but this one for me on my skin both on clothing and on skin it smells so 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 similar to mango skin and I'm very very happy about that so yeah uh, if you guys have tried this I would love to hear your opinion about it down in the comments also which fragrances would you recommend from this house Fleur um, I would love to hear about that as well. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys soon in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.